uh, talking about the attacks on you know INEC facilities, you know INEC itself as well as the NSA and the IGP are enraged at the attacks on the facilities of elector of the electoral commission. Uh, the security chiefs read the riot act against further attacks. How far reaching do you expect expect this warnings to go? Surely when this kind of thing happens in our country, the people whose duty it is to manage our security will start issuing threats and start telling us that uh, they have uh, mandated security operators to deal decisively with uh, anyone trying to foment trouble. But my own attitude is that these steps usually come when the beds are flown, when the uh, the horses have left the stable. What we need to do is to ensure that this doesn't happen again. In two years, in just two years, that's February, from February 2019 to March 2021, 41 41 INEC offices across 14 states of our country were set up a place. I, I don't understand how people could have the audacity to be setting a place government buildings, including government buildings that are so important, like the like the INEC offices. If we experience 41 attacks in two years, one would have expected that as we move closer and closer to the 2023 election, steps would have been taken to secure all our polling, I mean, I mean, all our INEC offices where materials are kept. Because the conduct of the 2023 election, the capacity of our people to fully exercise their franchise has been, has been uh, compromised by by these uh, attacks especially the last attack in um, abelkuta south local government where 65,699 uncollected pvcs were set ablaze were destroyed they also destroyed eight generating sets destroyed 54 election bags, taxi megaphones, 29 voting cubicles, because you need those cubicles um, to give yourself some level of uh, secrecy uh, when you are voting. They destroyed, uh, they set up least 29 of them. And of course, 904 ballot boxes destroyed. These things, Yes, they are replaceable, but at what cost and within what time can we guarantee that these replacements will be brought in? So what we have to do is to step up our protection of those uh, INF facilities. We should, we should see protecting INEC offices uh, more or less like protecting our oil installations. It amounts to political sabotage for, for politicians to, to be set, I mean, to be giving talks money to go and burn INEC offices. I was reading the statement issued by the Obidati group where they were saying that um, politicians who knew they would lose the election 
who are the people uh, setting INET buildings ablaze. Arrests have got to be made so that we can even know those who are behind this and what they stand to gain. Because I just, I don't get it. Before the last governorship election in Ondo State, that was how they set ablaze uh, an INEC office. And for them to burn an INEC office in an urban center, that fire has to be thoroughly investigated. How could they be moving freely in the odd hours of the night? And then succeeded in destroying INEC infrastructure and the things kept there. So uh, for me, I'm not so concerned about the threats that um, uh, the Monguno, the NSA, as well as the Inspector General of Police have issued. You don't even need to, you don't even need to issue threats to undesirable elements. Just do your best to make sure that they are unable to destroy INEC infrastructure, destroy um, sensitive materials uh, and even non-sensitive materials that are kept in those locations. Yes, IPOP um, was destroying INEC facilities. That did not come as a surprise to me because as far as they are concerned, we should not even have an election unless there is a referendum. But these fires in Ede and uh, these fires in uh, Oshun State and the one in uh, Abekuta South, local government of Ogun State, you really can't blame IPOP for that. It means that anti democratic elements are bound in all parts of the country. So there has to be protection for INEC facilities in every part of the country, even in places where, where we have not received reports of uh, INEC losing its buildings to uh, arsonists. We just have to protect those facilities better. We'll be really distressed if between now and election time, I yeah. I hear that another another INEC uh, building has been set up, please. Imagine. Right, Biko, um we, we're out of time, but let me quickly squeeze in this question, um, this comment, and I'd like you to react to it. Marco Yaide says the registration and collection of voter cards should be done like the driver's license all year long and every year not just an election year this will eliminate the congestion and limit accidents do you reason along i agree i agree absolutely i agree absolutely and it should be made simple it shouldn't be a cumbersome affair it shouldn't be so difficult for people to get registered I, I, I think right. uh, it's a very good idea that I made because mm. people are growing. Those who are ineligible to take part in the election in 2019 on account of age, yeah. they are ready now. They, they are older now and um, they are, they, uh, they've attained, a, a good number of them have attained the age of 18 so they can vote. Mm. Um, in the in the coming election, so people are getting older every day. So I believe that it should be a continuous affair, and it will be it should be a lot easier for our people to get themselves registered. Correct, uh, Fabian Akaze. The very last one I will be taking. INEC has long been compromised. How did the bandits know that PVCs were available in that office? INEC should be summoned by the National Assembly, Nigerians should receive their PVCs immediately. I am worried that um, an INEC building located in an urban center would be so easy, 
to set a place. And the report indicated that they even overpowered the security men on ground. If we need to put soldiers in those places, we need to put soldiers, the well-armed soldiers, so that they can overwhelm these guys when they come. Uh, to overpower security men and have unfettered access to INEC materials is uh, it's just not right. It's not right at all. It's not right. Wow.